What is going on, my Super Saiyan, which is Rob Sakan, and today I'm joined by C-Reacts so with some Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 talk in regards to costumes and basically the clothing system in Xenoverse 2. Now, before we start, I do want to toss out there that the team behind Xenoverse 2, Dims, the same people who made Xenoverse 1, were pretty much aware that one of the things that we wanted in the next game is a clothing system that didn't completely screw up your stats. Syria, yes. Dion, do you want to kind of break down the problem that happened in Xenoverse 1 with the clothing system? Just so we can kind of review everything to those who are new to this issue. Well, yes, I'd be, I'd be, I would love to do so, Dino. Now, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. Now, we're going to analyze how the community received, okay. <clears throat> the community, uh, for the most part, I think, you know, if you guys look around at time patrollers in general, you'll see that a lot of people have very similar outfits, especially when you're, like, maxed out sort of thing. And that's because, uh... Outfits affected attributes. So, you know, depending on what your build was, if you were a striker kind of character or if you were like a key blast user, you'd have to wear a certain outfit that kind of correlated with your attributes. So, there was a group of people, and by a group of people, I mean a chunk of the community that would complain about, and you know, and it's understandable about pretty much they're limited to what they can wear based off of how they play. But although they might like certain other outfits, you know, that they might want to wear, but they can't because it doesn't go with what they're uh, kind of set up to, to to use, like how they fight sort of thing. Yeah, so basically if you are a strike character and the clothing you're wearing, like, reduces stats, it didn't really make sense to, you know, wear that outfit. You, you, you basically were just limited to just what was based around your build. So while that wasn't a huge deal... Again, as Syriac says, we've seen a lot of comments or, you know, response from community and feedback in regards to just wanting to be able to wear anything without having to worry about it. Well, one of the things right. that Bandai did in Xenoverse 1 is, is they started releasing certain things that didn't affect stats. And by certain things, it was really just one outfit. If you guys remember yep. the uh, tracksuit Gohan outfit, ironically, that <laughs> outfit out of, of all. Because everybody wants to wear that outfit. Yeah. Hey, I want to wear it. I wear tracksuits. I'm European. Uh, <laughs> it didn't affect your stats track at all. Tracksuit Dino. Yeah, tracksuit Dino. It didn't affect your stats at all wearing the tracksuit outfit. Uh, along with that, they also had the wigs, but the accessories already didn't do anything to your stats, so you could kind of you had more freedom with that. So one of the things that people wanted in Xenoverse 2 is some kind of better vanity system where you can wear clothes without having to worry about stats being uh, reduced or just messing up your build. Now, as of right now, we don't know how this is going to work, but something that I did notice uh, in the pitches that released a couple days ago is they showed off a couple new outfits the first outfit which you see on the screen right now they have the the baseball outfit which i don't remember what that's from is that from yamcha's team yeah i think that's from i don't know if it was filler or not but yamcha played baseball yep regardless of whether it's filler that's definitely a yamcha outfit so i'm not touching that right the second outfit shows the same time patrol and he's wearing the goku outfit in between the cell games the most interesting one or second most interesting i should say is the baby outfit with the super saiyan 4 wig now, yes. I can't tell Fingering if this is actually a Super Saiyan 4 wig, because it has a couple of key differences that's, you know, different from what Goku had on his head. But this is clearly the wig because if you zoom in, you can see that the eyebrow colors are different, and unless they allow you to change eyebrow colors, it, uh, it pretty much confirms that it's a wig. But again, I can't 100% confirm, well, because for all we know... Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it, what if that's like... Now, this is a crazy stretch of imagination. It's most likely Super Saiyan 4, um, but... Think about Goten at the end of Z. What happened? End of Z Goten? What happened at the end of Z? No, end of Z, like like in the Oob tournament, Goten's hair when he was a little bit grown up. That almost looks like that hairstyle. It's, but it's, his hair was shorter though. It's the only difference. His hair was shorter. Now okay, well okay, there's two yeah, things we can yeah. grab out of this. Number one, it's either a Super Saiyan 4 wig or in Xenoverse 2 you can customize your colors for your eyebrows and your hair differently. Uh, because remember in Xenoverse 1 Hair was tied to just one button essentially, and if you change your hair color, it changed your eyebrows as well. So either yeah. they allow you to customize your eyebrows and hair differently, or this is indeed a wig. Now, if it is it's a most wig, most likely a wig. Yeah, if it is a wig, the question is: is will we get the full outfit? Because I mean, it pretty much it has to be Super Saiyan Four. Because if you look at the next picture, and this is the one, well, not this next picture. This next picture is the Grand Kai from other world but the picture after that has a cell outfit and one of the things that people wanted the most is to make a cell like character and while we're not getting bio androids we are getting his, uh, his outfit so and of course the last picture that we have is the police outfit which is it's actually the arms ripped trunks from uh the bojack movie i want to say and yeah 
Yeah. And GT Vegeta's pants and GT Vegeta's everything else other than the possible Krillin police helmet. Yes. From so, the Resurrection F movie. Yep. Uh, so the reason why we even make this video in the first place is, is what I believe, and this is just a complete guess, don't take this as confirmation. What I believe is going to happen in Xenoverse 2 is there's going to be a lot more costumes introduced as opposed to have to wear equipment. Now, equipment, I think, when it comes down to it, will still, you know affect stats in some sort of way because there are a lot of people who love being able to create characters around the perfect build in which case you know having the right equipment can just slightly increase the character in terms of how you want the, that character to be while the other side of the community just wants costumes now again this is not me saying I think this is what's gonna happen because I know because I legit don't know how costumes in the vanity system is gonna work out in the next game but what I think is going to happen is, is we're gonna get a lot more costumes and shoes this time around while we also have the, the you know the same equipment that we get in the last game, now, right? And uh, complete theories. I just want to emphasize that as hard as we can. <laughs> complete, we legit do not know about this stuff. Yes, we complete don't. theory don't. for love of God. Now the main reason why I decided to do this video is because I had uh, the possibility, or I guess the idea of of wanting to see what kind of costumes the community wants. Because one of the things that I want to do with Xenomorphs Two that I didn't really do with Xenomorphs One is be able to send a lot more feedback to bi to dims almost as bims to dims and dims. bandai uh and kind of see if we can get what we want because unlike xenomorphs 1 xenomorphs 2 the uh the developers are really listening they're going to give us as much as we want so one of the things that i want to do here is if i were to send basically like this will be two videos what i want you guys to do is in the comment section below comment which character costume you want to see the most so for example i want to dress up as janimba I want to dress up as, uh, I don't know, Frieza. I want to dress up as, as whoever. Any character costume you can think about it, comment it down below. So what I'm going to do then is I will read through the comments to see what people want the most. And then from there, I'll try to create a poll, which I'll do a second follow-up video on. And once people vote, just like I did with the character roster thing a couple weeks ago, I will send it to Bandai and see if it's possible for them to implement that costume as a future free DLC or something like that. Because, again, they're very adamant about listening to, you know, what we as fans of the game want and... This could actually work, and obviously mine is I want to dress up as Janimba. I want the whole Janimba outfit just so I can like you know go with that uh, for myself for my Frieza character because of course I'm playing. Yeah, I was gonna say as a Frieza character that would work a lot better as a Saiyan dressed up like Janimba. So it might be one of those things where like like I don't know I don't know how do you think that would work? But I guess you could be a human and have like that cell outfit. So I guess I could make anything work. Yeah, I mean it's a costume. It's just basically dressed up. It's it's cosplay within Xenoverse and Kanton City. So, so I, again, just in the comment section below, I want everybody here to say which, I mean, as of right now, we don't know what's available in terms of costumes. For all we know, Super Saiyan 4 isn't going to be a full costume. It might just be a wig. So if you want Super Saiyan 4, say, I want Super Saiyan 4. And please, just for uh, organizational purposes, only say one costume. Don't, please don't say a 20. Don't say, I want this, this, and that. And if you've already commented, please go back and add your, add your comment just because... Again, I'm going to read through all these comments, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot on this video, and I'm going to see what the general consensus is, and from there, I'll create a poll like I did last time, and then I'll do a second video where everybody can actually vote what costumes we want, and then, you know, I'll send it over to Binance to see if it's possible. And for all we know, they might just say, you know what? Nah, we're not going to waste our time. We can't do this. You know, we're busy. But hey, it's at least worth trying. And again, they're very... If anything, it's Xenoverse 3. Xenoverse 3. If it, like, and I know that's way down the spectrum, but like, you know, if it doesn't get into Xenoverse 2, at least they'll have something just like for the extremely, extremely early hypothetical Xenoverse yeah. 3. I mean, honestly, making a costume is a lot easier to make uh, models. So right. it shouldn't be that hard to add these costumes. Because like I said, I, for all we know, every costume that you guys already want is in the game. <laughs> it's funny, like me and C-Rex just made a joke. It's like, well, what if the costumes are already in there from what people want? Well, th then we succeeded, sort of. Technically, we still yes. get what we want. So, well, you guys get what you want. It's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. So again, whatever costume you think will be cool to add to your custom character, character one that doesn't like add stats or whatever, comment it down below. I'm gonna read through all these comments. Please, only one per person. One comment per person. And uh, I'll create a poll. Do a second follow-up video. We'll all vote on it. You know, and we'll send that to Bana. Like, hey, let me get that Janema costume though. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make my Freezer character look pretty evil and stuff. So, yeah. With that said, Dia, yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot. What costume would you want to see? Uh, you always... Okay, yeah. I guess it's my fault. I should have I should have thought about this before. Um, oh, fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Um, okay, let me think. It's tough. It's really tough. It, it is, because there's so many. And I'm trying to think of one that wasn't already in Xenoverse uh, 1. And my whole thing is... Uh, as you guys may or may not have guessed, like, you know, there's a lot of people who comment about, like, oh, I wish the hair would stand up as Super Saiyan, or, oh, like, a lot of cosmetic stuff. But me personally, like, I don't know. I 
my thing is like I like what's there, but my big thing is just mechanics. Like yeah, I'm just gameplay, gameplay and stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like I could run around with a naked character, but as long as the game is fun, like I'm I'm okay with it. But I mean, I guess cosmetic stuff. I'm trying to think of it like a Dragon Ball character that maybe we haven't. Okay, maybe maybe Oob's outfit. He was in the last no, game. No, no, no. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't. I, everybody was in the thing that I can think of, but I mean, I, I'm if pretty there's sure, any obscure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be unanimous, and everybody's going to want the Super Saiyan 4 costume. Cause, yeah, I mean, because that's like the. What else was missing? I don't think anything else was really right. missing, was there? Uh, I mean, there's 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 a lot, obviously, because there's so many characters in the Dragon Ball universe. Whether it's ooh, just... ooh, ooh, okay, I got something. I got something. It's not even a whole outfit. It's not even a whole outfit. It's one small cosmetic thing. What is the it? Majin symbol. Ooh, that's a Maj yeah. Majin symbol for the forehead, like like as an accessory or something. Yeah, that that's I, I actually I do want that, dude. Imagine being able to create like a Janimba looking character and then add that Majin uh, logo to your yes. head, bro. Yes, yes. And uh, how easy would that be? Yeah. How easy would that very, be? It's to very just easy put actually. An M on someone's head. I they wouldn't surprise. All over. I wouldn't be surprised if it's already in the, in the game though. So again, in the comment section Majin below, Majin whether it, it's question? actually equipment or if it's just uh. What should we call it? A regular outfit that doesn't affect stats. What costume or accessory do you want to see the most in the next game? Drop it down below. I'll read through all the comments in a couple days, and I'll make a poll based on what I've seen the most, and then we'll vote on it and send it over to Bandai. And again, most likely everything that we already want is going to be in the game. But hey, at least it's worth telling them now than later. And hopefully, if there is something that we want that's not in the game, they can release it as free DLC later because they did that a couple times with Xenoverse One. So, so yeah. Yes, right. yes. Uh, and if you do, don't put multiple things. I, I'll repeat what Dino said. But if you do, just know we're probably just going to pick the first. Well, Dino's going to just pick whatever you put first. So yeah, yeah, if yeah. you do have multiple things, just make sure that what you want the most is the first thing. Because everything else will be disregarded promptly. Yeah. Uh, and also, I'm just curious. You don't have to comment all this unless you want. But I'm, I also read. If I'm collabing with Dino, I read all the comments as well. But... So if, if I'm just curious as to what people think about the attributes on uh, clothing to begin with. Like if people would prefer if all clothing was just like not, you know, affected by attributes or if it was. That's just a side thing. But put that under whatever uh, outfit you would want. Right. Sort of thing. And also to make it easier, if you read through comments before commenting and see someone already mentioned what you mentioned, just upload it. Just upload it. It'll make everything yeah. a lot easier. So yeah. Then thumbs up. Okay, so we got the Majin logo, we got the Janimba costume. Uh, I guess now all we can do is end the video and just see what happens once we upload this and see what the community wants. But for now, check out C-Reacts in the description below. Go punch his uh, subscriber button right in the balls. Mm -hmm. And I guess, let's see what we can do as a community when we create this uh, Banda Namco Spirit Bomb and see if we can get made what we want to see in a sequel. So, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the comment section below. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you later.